Did you know that your WordPress site is more than likely an open invitation to hackers? Luckily, there's an easy fix. In this video, I'm gonna show you to change the URL of your login page so it doesn't exist at the default location. This adds an extra layer of protection for your site, specifically against brute force attacks. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Now let's get started. A very popular way that hackers try to hack your WordPress site is through brute force. You can see plugins is number one, brute force is number two, which um, with a much lower percentage, mind you. Core is number three, that's the core WordPress file updates that aren't being done, so a security vulnerability is introduced that a hacker can exploit, and theme updates not being done. And the plugin is also plugin updates not being done. It's not plugins that are vulnerable by design, it's plugins that are being updated that you don't update on your site, and then a security vulnerability is introduced. And brute force is where they try to guess your username and password. There are three things you can do to limit brute force attacks on your website. In this video, we're gonna cover the first one, which is move your login URL. The other two videos, I'll link to this one as well, so you can watch them really easily, but this one's gonna focus just on moving the login URL. So here's our website, and the login URL I'm talking about is on any website where you're logged out, if you go to WP, or if you add WP admin after the URL, it takes you to this login page. Or if you add wp-login.php, it takes you to this login page, where you normally log in. Every WordPress site by default has that functionality. So we wanna move this page. The way you do that is with a simple plugin that we're gonna install right now. And I go to plugins and add new. Look for WPS change URL is what I call it. It's not the real name. Hide login, that is, that's it. WPS hide login is the real name, but WPS change URL finds it too. This is the one you want right here. It has a million plus active installs, which is a lot. Five out of five stars on 2,000 reviews. It's pretty good. Untested in the current version of WordPress. I'm not a big fan of that, but I haven't run into any problems, so it should be okay. If you're doing this on the live site, you want to back up your site first, just to make sure you have a backup if there are any problems. If you need help with that, I've got a tutorial. I'll link to it in the card up above in the description down below that shows you how to back up your site and restore it in case something goes wrong. But it should be fine. Famous last words. Should be fine. Install that plugin. Activate it. Now under settings, we have WPS hide login. I had to refresh the page for this to appear. Normally you don't have to, but for some reason I did. And in here, this takes us actually to the general WordPress tab. So you can go to the general under settings or WPS hide my login, which scrolls you down to this area right here. We enter a name. This name can be anything. It can be gobbledygook. It could be this. This is now gonna be the new login page name. If you choose this to be your login page name, you need to store this somewhere or memorize the gobbledygook because you're not gonna be able to find it. Because if you're logged out, you can't log into your WordPress site to double check what the URL is. So you have to remember this or you could go into the database if you, are, if you have trouble finding it. But it's best to f put something in here that you can remember, like super secret login, save changes. And now when we log out, I'm just gonna copy, copy this. Not so much typing then, if we log out and we go to the homepage and go to forward slash WP admin like we did earlier. We've got a 404 error, this page doesn't seem to exist. Whoops, it's gone. Go to wp-login.php. Same thing, doesn't exist. But if we go to forward slash super secret login, boom, there's a login form. It's that easy. And now when hackers come to your site, or they don't come personally in most cases, when their bots come to your site and they look for the login page, they're not gonna be able to find it which makes your site safer. And I have a whole course on WordPress security if you wanna check that out. I'll link to that in the card up above in the description down below. And it really helps secure your site. So if you wanna secure your site, check out that course. Not hard to do and you're gonna be happy you did it. Because at some point you're gonna run into WordPress security issues. It's best to be ahead of the game. And as I mentioned earlier, this is the first video in this three video series. This one moves the login page. The next one, I'm gonna show you how to stop repeated login attempts. And in the video after that, I'm gonna show you how to disable the XML RPC.php file. 
because hackers can use that to circumvent all this work we're doing right now and tap in directly to the WordPress, I don't know what, the API, the XML feed? I don't know exactly what they're tapping into, but they can bypass the login page completely by connecting to the XML RPC file. So we're gonna have to cover that in the third video in this series. Next up, check out this video right here, which is the next video in this series of securing your WordPress site. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.